Hi there, thank you for, for joining with me this morning. A few weeks ago I spoke about the 23rd Psalm in church and I close with a story, I want to share it with you. It's of a young man who was good at almost everything. Sport, studies, he was top boy, life was wonderful and then he lost his leg. His life fell apart, he became angry, he became self-destructive. And once a doctor asked him to draw a picture of his body and he drew a crude sketch of a vase. Running through the centre of that vase, he drew a deep crack. He went over and over that crack with a black crayon, gritting his teeth, ripping the paper. It was a symbol of the failure of his body, the death of how he saw himself with two good legs, loved and admired by everyone. Over time his anger lessened and he began to heal and you know how he did it? He, he did it by reaching out to others, perhaps in the same situation. His doctor invited him to visit other young people whose problems were similar to his. And he was once asked to visit a young lass and she lay in bed with her eyes closed. She refused to look at him, no matter how he tried. He tried everything, he made jokes, he even got angry at her and finally stood up um, one last effort to get her attention. He unstrapped his artificial leg, let it drop to the floor with a bang. She got fright, she opened her eyes, she saw him for the first time, and he began to laugh out loud and hop around the room on his one remaining leg and uh, to the music that she was playing on her radio. And she burst out laughing and said, if you can dance, maybe I can sing. It's absolutely true. They became friends, close friends, and yes, eventually, they became husband and wife. Sometimes later, the young fellow, after that particular incident, he, vis he visited a doctor and during the visit, the doctor handed them the very picture he had drawn that first time they had met. The doctor had kept it. And he asked the lad if he remembered it. The young fellow took it and looked at it for some time and he said, yeah, I do remember it. And I now realise it wasn't really finished. And at that point, he took up a yellow crane. And he began drawing yellow lines radiating out from the crack in the vase to the very edge of the paper and he began to smile. And putting his finger in the crack he said, this is where the light comes through. Do you get it? We all face setbacks, our dreams don't work, our tragedy strikes and we think that's it. Maybe David too was tempted when he wrote the 23rd Psalm. But instead he writes, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. There's always a path through. There's always a way out. And I just love the ending. For he writes, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's God's promise to us all.